Multiple choice practice, question number eight. The function y equals this ugly thing has a horizontal tangent and a point of inflection for the same value of x. What does, a, what does, what does b have to be? Well, let's see. Horizontal tangent, that happens where y prime is 0. Point of inflection, that's a second derivative thing. Uh, equals 0 and changes signs. Um, could be undefined and changes signs, but this is a polynomial, so it's not going to be undefined. By the way, that gets you maybe not quite half credit, but at least some partial credit. Not on the AP test, but in the test in here. Like If you wrote that out, if you made it that far, I would give you some credit because now you're, you know, you've shown some calculus knowledge here. First derivative, 4x cubed plus 2bx plus 8. Okay, I, yeah, that doesn't help me a whole lot. Um, I set it to zero, but that doesn't help much either. Stop and take attendance, right? Do the important stuff. All right, back to number eight. So y prime equals zero. All right, again, not much help there. Y double prime equals zero. So 12x squared plus 2b equals zero. Okay, that's a that's a little more helpful, and just because there's less stuff there. So I've got two equations, two unknowns. So I should be able to figure out um, what b is and what x is. So I, I think it'll be easier if I solve for b and plug it in the first one. So 2b equals negative 12x squared. So b equals negative 6x squared. I think that's my best bet. If you do it the other way, then you get x is the square root of something, and then it's going to be a big mess. So let's take negative 6x squared and plug it in for b and see what happens. 4x cubed plus 2 times negative 6x squared times x plus 8 equals 0. Four x cubed minus 12x cubed plus 8 equals 0. Oh, I'm, I'm peeking ahead. I'm seeing a this is typical of AP type questions. They look hard and then stuff starts happening and things kind of work out in your favor here. Negative 8x cubed plus 8 equals 0. Let's move things around a little bit. 8x cubed equals 8. So x cubed equals 1. So x equals 1. Although be careful. It's tempted to answer uh, C, but why why would C not be the correct answer here? We're looking for the value of B. So, uh, as always, go back and reread the question. Make sure you answer the right question. What must be the value of B? Um, well, we said B is equal to negative 6 times X squared. So B is negative 6. So... C was maybe tempting, but the answer is negative 6. B is equal to negative 6.